Uh, I'm Tim Lovejoy. I'm a TV presenter. I'm a TV producer. I'm a TV writer. And now I own my own internet channel, which is kind of cool. At school, I really enjoyed sport. <laughs> I found lessons really dull. I didn't find it that hard, but it just didn't stimulate me. And I really regret it now, because I think it'd be really nice to go on and do a further education. And even though I've got quite a good job, I think I could have done something better with myself. My dad was uh, an accountant who ended up working in personnel in a big company. And my mum uh, was a saleswoman who got in, in the computer, the start of the computer boom. She would sell programs to companies. I always had this assumption that um, one day someone was just going to come out of nowhere and say, hey, Tim, here's your dream job. And it was just going to happen. And then one day I realised, hmm, I don't think that is going to happen. It was back in the 80s, so I was money obsessed like everybody in the 80s. So it was like, how can I make money? So I got into finance and started flogging mortgages. I think I was the youngest ever sales associate at Allied Dunbar at the time when I joined. I hated it. I hated every minute of it. Um, and I didn't make money because I, I found it really hard um, at my age trying to sell people who are a lot older than me the biggest commitment of their lives. <laughs> I think the thing which annoys me most and, and when I decided to work in television was people saying you can't do it. People laughed at me for saying I was going to be a TV presenter. I knew I had communication skills so I was like well I'm going to go and do it and I had to do all sorts of jobs to try whilst I was trying to make it as a TV presenter. I was working for free during the days at any TV company I could get my hands on. I used to phone people and write to people and ask them for advice all the time. Peter Powell, who's um, an agent, saw my showreel and said to me, you should go and find yourself some production work. I think he was basically saying to me, you're not a good enough presenter, go behind the camera. It was the best advice I ever had. And uh, so I learned how to do um, researching and producing as well. So I'd, I basically managed to uh, blag my way more or less onto MTV to cover a bit at MTV at the movies. And meanwhile, I managed to get myself a job uh, as a researcher, junior researcher on um, Planet 24 on The Big Breakfast. I was producing The Big Breakfast and they, I always loved football. And Sky Television had just taken over football. I was trying to put uh, football items on the Big Breakfast as a producer and they weren't interested in them. I got frustrated because I loved football and I thought it was great. But I wrote to Sky and I said, um, can I have a, a, are there any opportunities there? And it's, is it lucky? I'm not sure, but there was an opening for a producer of a TV show and, um, and I went for the interview and I said, no, I don't want to produce it. And they found out that I'd also presented and they called me back and said, what do you think about producing it and presenting it. And I went, yeah, dream job. I've had so many work experience coming to Sky and, and, and Judy as I employed at Sky. They get frustrated sometimes because all their mates are going out and they're working long hours. And I was like, but in five years time when you're, you can go, yeah, I met Ray Winston. I went to this football match, I went to this gig. I met him, I did that. You've got a lot of stories. All they've got is stories about going to the same old bar day in, day out and their jobs. You've got the opportunity, live it, you know? And I think this is one of those jobs. Actually, I think all good jobs are jobs where you actually dedicate your life to them. And you go, do you know, this is a great job. It's part of my life. It's not work, leisure. It's, it all blurs into one big thing.